queremos agradecer. We want to thank all of our brothers and friends from the United States. You give us so much support to our mission, our families, and all of the people in Latin America. Your prayers and financial support help us with all of these projects and activities the Lord has led us to perform in these countries. I want you to know our primary goal, our primary mission is to bring people to Christ, to take the gospel to the people, converting, baptizing, teaching them to observe all the things the Lord has commanded, and establishing congregations everywhere the Lord opens a door. We work with the native populations, with the Latin people, and the Lord has led us to send preachers to these Latin American countries. That is our main goal, and it is what we have dedicated ourselves to do day and night. Over a hundred men, pioneers, are sharing the gospel house to house to add to the kingdom of God. El año 2011 fue un año 2011 was a successful, wonderful year. Eight new congregations were born, six new congregations in Panama and two in Costa Rica. God allowed us to baptize 495 people and add them to his people. We train leaders, qualified, well-trained leaders, firm in the teachings of Christ. This is what we have Bible College where every three years we graduate new pastors who then take on new congregations. This is something we constantly work in our ministry. God has led us to other areas. He has led us to work we never imagined we would be doing to build schools. We found communities without education, without medicine, without drinking water, people living in shanty towns with their sick children and without a roof over their heads. The Lord has permitted us to work in this area. We have built many schools. We believe that the basis for the development of people is education, especially primary education. When we invest work and effort to bring these children out of ignorance, we bring them up out of poverty. This means that thousands and thousands of children today now attend school, thanks to the U.S. group that comes to help us as well as the great team we have in Panama working, organizing the towns where we bring the education. It has been marvelous. God has shown us a great path because we need only to build and organize the school, then talk to the state in order for the Ministry of Education to name the staff. Also, the Lord has led us to give aid in the medical field. In 2011, our mission gave medical attention to 21,840 people. That includes health centers, those that we visited, as well as the five health centers we built on the coast. We also host groups from the United States. Every year, the church in Denver brings groups of doctors, 
and it is so special that Dr. Jim from Indiana visits us with a group of doctors. We also have a group of volunteer doctors in Panama, which make medical tours every 15 days to rather poor areas. With all of this, more than 20,000 people a year receive medical assistance. Thanks to your support and your prayers, we now have a great potential to help a lot of people. We build a church when a congregation of 100 members is organized. We only insist that they fund part of the money to purchase the land. We are there lending a hand with the resources that they don't have. We are very happy with the national training program we have developed. We train the native people to preach to each other. The Costa Ricans preach to the Costa Ricans. Panamanians preach to their people. This makes the work easier. The investment is less, much less. This is our investment. And I'll give you an example. Rufino preaches in our four congregations. We give an offering of $300 a month to Rufino Caballera because he cannot pay for electricity, cannot pay for water, he has no phone, no car. He has a horse to go to the fields to bring the gospel to the people there. So this is one great opportunity to serve our brother, an opportunity for Jose, for Wilfredo, and for so many other brothers who are spreading his gospel on the mountain. This program helped us grow in Latin America and so the gospel in all parts of Central America, also in the Caribbean, in Cuba, Ecuador, and several countries that God has allowed us to share the word. You can come and work with us to organize a group in the United States. There are so many fields of work, building schools or building drinking water service. That's an area that we have so much success. May God bless all of you. God keep you and I hope you can come to Panama where we can work together and see the great unity and potential of all of us working together to lift the souls of individuals. God bless you and thank you.